everyone welcome to my kitchen so summer is here CSA deliveries have started and guess what so much kale so much kale and soon to be even more kale so what I wanted to do was do up a recipe that lets us use up a bunch of kale in a really really delicious way so what we're going to be doing is making a kale pesto We've all heard of basil pestos and things like this. We're going to use this lovely kale and fret not if you don't have a lot of kale, uh, you can always augment with other uh, vegetable toppers like um, beet tops, radish tops, other lettuces, that kind of things. You want, you want some greens that have a bit of um, texture to them and bulk to them. Okay. So iceberg lettuce, not great. Carrot tops, beet tops, radish tops, those kinds of things you can easily augment. You can add other herbs too, like basil and parsley and all of those things too. This is basically a recipe that's a guideline for you to take and, and just go nuts with. Do all kinds of different things with it. So we're going to go through the basic recipe. So we're going to start, let's get working with our kale first of all. So here's our kale, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to destem these babies, okay? And what we're going to do first is we're going to have a look, and I'm actually going to give these a rinse after I'm done deveining them because I'm going to also give them a little bit of a massage. And what the massage does is it helps take some of the bitterness away. And so if you rinse it after the fact, then you can wash away a lot of that bitterness that uh, can be associated with kale. So we're just going to fold these in half and take this little stem out. Easy peasy. Put it to the side. We're going to do that with all of the kale. And get and you can you can even just sit here and do this too. When when you end up with really really big leaves, sometimes it's easier to do it with a knife. Sometimes it's easier just to do it by hand. See, it works really well either way. So we're gonna do that. And these are really tender because they are so farm fresh. They were in the ground this morning. So this is why they're quite tender. Okay, so it comes off really, really easy. But these stems, they're just too uh, tough to work with. So I just want to get this little tough bit out. There we go. So depending on how tender your kale is, you decide whether you need to use a knife or if you can just pull the stem out that way. And for this recipe, I want to I want to get about four to six cups worth of chopped kale. And like I say, you can muck about and change up the proportions of uh, lemon juice and I'm using walnuts and Parmesan cheese and you can uh, change up the nuts. You can go with some almonds. You can go with some pine nuts, change up the acid, maybe put some uh, rice wine vinegar in there or a white balsamic would be quite nice as well. Um, and as far as the cheese goes, you want to use like a, a nice hard cheese. I like to use Parmesan. Uh, you can change up the cheese or don't put any cheese in it at all. It's totally up to you. Make your pesto your own. So by the time we're done with this, we'll end up with about four to six cups. I'm using fresh lemon juice, some garlic. And I'm also using kosher salt. So it's a little bit um, uh, larger crystals. If you need to use table salt, just use uh, quite a bit less. And I like to salt less when I'm making it and then just salt it to taste once we're done. That way it's not too salty. You can always add salt. You can't take salt away. Oh, there we go. That goes there and that goes there. Okay, so we've got our 
stems out of the way. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm literally going to give these leaves a little bit of a massage, like really get in there and just massage those leaves. And what they'll do is they'll release some of their bitterness and we're going to use a salad spinner just to give them a rinse. So you're bruising the leaves and if you want to eat kale raw but you do find they're a little bit bitter do this as well just give them a little massage sometimes i'll add salt to it when i'm going to give them a massage there we go so now what we're going to do is we're just going to give them a quick spin in the salad spinner There we go. And I like to use my salad spinner for so many different things, even for, uh, you know, cleaning all manner of uh, veggie tops, even for potatoes. When I need to get them nice and dry, then I use the salad spinner to get so much of the moisture out. So we're just going to give these a quick rinse and then give them a spin. Now the rest of this recipe happens in the food processor. So quick, so easy. Okay, so let's get these guys in here. Give them a spin. And we see all of that. That's all that bitterness. There we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the food processor out so that we can bring it all together. There we go. Actually, let's go around this way. All right, let's try it this way. There we go. We need to just be able to reach that darn plug. There we are. There we are. Make sure that you can see what's going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to give these like a really rough chop before they go in just so that the pieces are a little bit more manageable that's all there is to it and if you don't uh, have that big of a food processor uh, you can always do this in batches so simple and the other nice thing is too uh, this is going to be more than our family is going to be able to eat before it starts. Yeah, you know, it'll last about five days in the fridge. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take any extra and I'm going to put it into a ice cream or ice cube tray. And I'm going to freeze those puppies so that whenever I want some pesto, I just take it out of the freezer. Okay, so we're going to put our kale. We're going to put half a teaspoon of salt and again just uh, you can you can put more in later <laughs> put our lemon juice this is juice of one lemon so it's about a quarter of a cup and our garlic I've got three cloves of garlic here and I am going to just give them a smash There we go. There we go. Smashed up. There we go. Okay, so let's get this guy started. So we're going to pulse this a few times. And I'm going to 
to turn it on for about 15 seconds. There we go. And we're going to scrape down the sides. Oh. Oh, yes. The lemon, the garlic hole. Oh. Okay, so now while this is on, we're going to want about half a cup of olive oil. And we're just going to drizzle that in while it's spinning. We want to go relatively slowly. We don't want to just dump it all in. And I do have a little topper that has a little uh, hole, but we're just going to do it this way. And you can use less oil if you want to. It really just depends on how much kale you've got. Okay, so let's turn that off. And now what we've got is we've got our walnuts and our Parmesan cheese. Okay. And I lightly toasted our walnuts just in a dry pan. Oh, look at the color. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our walnuts. And like I say, you can switch this out with almonds, uh, what are, pine nuts. Give it a whirl. And I've just got this little topper off so you can actually see what's going on. And then in goes our Parmesan cheese. There we go. Add as much or as little as you like. And we're just going to... Let's see if we can give this a little scrape so we can get all this goodness down into the process. Oh, that looks good, guys. The smell, so good. The color, amazing. There we go. So, Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm going to be roasting or making some chicken, chicken thighs. Beautiful chicken thighs. And I'm going to use this on top of my chicken when it's done at the table. This is an awesome condiment. You can just put this in a bowl at the kitchen table and uh, people can just... Uh, Use it basically as a condiment, really. It goes with so many things, so many things. So we're just going to take this out of here. Be extremely careful with your blade, guys. This is so sharp. I like to wash it immediately so that I know it's been put away in a safe place and nobody's going to get hurt. So we're going to give it a rinse right now, and I have a little protective sleeve for it, and it never gets confused with the other 
dishes. Okay, so we've got our little container here. There we go. And like I say, any extra can go into ice cube trays and you can freeze them in, you know, one, two tablespoon measures. And then whenever you want to add this, this would go awesome on as a spread for a sandwich. It's fantastic as a dip. It can go in your eggs. So many things. So if you're one of those ones that are not a big fan of kale, as it is, let's give it a taste because we need to adjust the salt. Then you're going to enjoy this because the between the garlic and the lemon and the parmesan and the walnuts. We're just going to give it a little tiny taste so we can test for. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So garlicky. So lemony. I would never know that this, my friends, is just kale. I didn't add any basil to it or anything otherwise as well. So there you go, guys. That's how simple it is to make kale pesto. And look at that, baby. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. That's going to be yummy with our chicken tonight. Okay, guys, that is our kale recipe. I will be back with another quick recipe all summer long using our CSA using you know brand new techniques and and recipes for everyone if uh, you have any questions feel free to ask uh, you can catch up with me on Twitter Facebook the website all over the place I will see you next time bye bye